Hello! In this lesson, we're going to be talking about comments. It's super quick, super brief. Really, there's not a whole lot to talk about here, to be honest. Uh, comments, what you have usually seen in HTML is a, a comment that looks a lot like this. In JavaScript, we don't use comments like that. We use comments, actually, you've seen this before if you've looked at any of the project files, uh, any of the JavaScript.js files, they all have this little double line here. I'm actually just going to move that in. And that's a comment. But how does it look in code? Well, uh, let's write some basic code. And I don't expect you to understand what this code actually is, nor do you have to right now. So I'm going to write something in here. Uh, it would be great if I could spell any of the words correctly. And, you know, what does this function do? Actually, I'm going to move this up one. And in here, uh, step one, you know, it's going to execute some code in here whatever that might possibly be. Uh, and then step two, execute some more code, and then it's just going to return something. Maybe it's going to return an object. So again, you don't need to know what that actually is, but here are the comments. Now, if we wanted to actually comment this whole thing out, what we could do is we could just add uh, the double slashes in front of it, or we could do the easier way and use the asterisk and slash. So to start a, a single line comment, just one line, right? So we have one line, two line, three line. Just to comment one out, all we do is add slash slash in front of it. But if we wanted to comment all of them out, well, we could add slash slash in front of all of them, or we could add uh, slash asterisk, and that's going to comment everything out until it's told not to be commented. And you can tell because all this text is gray. I'm just going to actually uh, get rid of some of this so it fits on the screen again. And to end that comment, you use asterisk slash, which is the exact opposite of this. And to tell uh, if you've got an editor, any sort of IDE that's uh, using uh, syntax highlighting or any sort of coloring, color comes back. That's all it is. Now, one thing to note about writing any code in any programming language is use comments, use a lot of comments. I would always say use more comments than not enough. Tell people what your function does. Why is a variable declared? What is it supposed to do? Is there a difference between one variable between a variable and, and an object? Or do you want to remind someone that one function has to run at a certain time? Or you know, whatever you're doing, leave it in your comments. Now, if you're the only developer working on a project, really, is that necessary? For the most part, no, until your project gets bigger. Because when you're working on a large project, you might not touch some code for a week or two at a time. And when you come back, you might not remember where it is, even if you think at the time you're going to remember all of this. Chances are you won't, and you're going to come back and you have to figure out everything. Or you could just simply leave comments for yourself, and you can read them when you come back to it. On the other side of the spectrum is if you're working with other developers, and this is very common, whether you're working on an open source project or you're a front end developer or a back end developer working in, uh, in a web development firm or on a team or in a startup, whatever it is you're doing, if you're working with other developers, leave comments so they understand what's going on and they should do the same for you. And if there are any developers that are writing code that are not leaving comments for you, in all honesty, they're not doing a very good job of communicating with you because developers don't pick up the phone and say, oh, hey, so I made this change because that would take forever. We would be on phone calls all day. Instead, we leave little comments saying, oh, yeah, I, I changed this or or this this one variable was was meant for something in particular. And it doesn't have to be extensive. So I, I put variable name. This is a declared variable, but there's nothing in there. That means technically it's defined, but the value is undefined. So this would be an empty string. This just means it's undefined. And in the comments, we could say why this is undefined. So this is just to set up a basic variable used in, I don't know, four other functions. Something like that. That's absolutely acceptable. If you're adding any level of clarity that another developer could benefit from, it is worth writing. Even if it takes you a little bit longer to write the same code just because you're adding comments, it is that important. Comments are easy. Comments are simple. Everybody knows how to do them. And they can 
exponentially increase your level of communication between you and your future self who's going to be looking back on passcode that you're writing right now or you and your team and vice versa.